What a lovely accent. Pascal. Yes. Good local accent. <laughs> now to another ancient art that's being in, revived, sword fighting. Mm, if you fancy having a go, two brothers have started giving lessons in Bristol and we sent our swashbuckling reporter Ellie Louise Ringe along. Sword first. Hundreds of years ago, these swords would have been lethal weapons, capable of killing in a few easy strokes. Today, with a little extra padding, sword fighting is being perfected as a martial art. People don't even realise that uh, there used to be prize fights held in the West Country. People would be using swords and bucklers. They wouldn't be killing each other, they'd just be fighting for sports. People would be placing bets on them. People don't know about that anymore. Um, all of the masters died out many hundreds of years ago, so the whole system is based on manuscripts left over from dead masters. So there's a lot of research and translation and analysis that needs to be done before it can even be taught. Uh, I love the history, history based around it, so I love the weapons, um, and I love the competitive nature of it. Uh, absolutely anybody can join in, um, any physical condition, uh, basically male, female, no problem at all, as long as they're over 18. Michael and Nick have now started weekly classes in Bristol. As a beginner, I had to forego the sword for something a little less lethal. Get the hang of this. OK, Nick, I think I've mastered the stick now. When can I move on to the real thing? Oh, you can have a look now. Excellent, thank you. It, it actually weighs a ton. I don't <laughs> How much does it actually weigh? This one weighs 3.3 .3 kilos, but this is certainly, this is at the larger end of the scale. And uh, I have to say, I'm probably one of the clumsiest people in the world. Does that matter when, you, when you've got one of these in your hands? It's not a big problem. The thing is, you know, it, you will learn over time. You know, it's, it's about acquiring skills. You will learn. My weapon of choice was a longsword. Knights in the 13th and 14th centuries would have used them. They were popular because apparently they're easy to use. Right, I think I'll leave that to you actually and take my stick back if that's all right. I'll carry on with this. Thank you. So I wasn't quite up to Mike and Nick's washbuckling standards. But then again, everyone has to start somewhere. Ellie Louise Ringe for The West Tonight.